quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides. Rectangle is a special quadrilateral which has all right angles. But wait, square also has all right angles. So what's the difference? A square is a rectangle whose sides have same length. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral where at least one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Parallelogram is a special trapezoid where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. From this definition, rectangle is also a parallelogram. Rhombus, a quadrilateral whose sides all have the same length. So what's the difference between rhombus and square? In square, all angles are equal, but in rhombus, only opposite angles are equal. Regular polygons. A polygon is regular when every side has the same length and every angle has the same measure. This hexagon is an example of a regular polygon. Now you have to tell me which quadrilateral is regular. A four-sided polygon which has equal sides and all angles are equal to. Let's calculate perimeter. Perimeter is length of a boundary. When all sides have same length, then perimeter is length of one side into number of sides. Because we have to add same number six times. If one side of this hexagon is two, then two into six, twelve. What is the perimeter of this figure? The length of this side is unknown. If we draw these two lines, then we can have a triangle here. And if we know the base and height, we can figure out the hypotenuse. Length of this segment is 4 because it's equal to the above segment. 16 minus 4 If this side is 12, this segment is also 12. This segment is 7 and we can subtract 7 from 12. From this, we can calculate the length of this side. Then add all the sides. Angles inside quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. We can see that each quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles. And we know that sum of angles inside triangle is 180. So 180 plus 180, 360. Quadrilateral has two triangles inside. Pentagon has three triangles inside and hexagon has four triangles inside. You can see there is a pattern. As we are increasing number of sides, the number of triangles are also increasing. What is the sum of angles inside pentagon? With three triangles, it must be 540. So inside pentagon, angles add up to 540 degrees. Can you see there is a pattern? There is a relationship between number of triangles and sides. Total triangles are 2 less than number of sides. 4 sides, 2 triangles. 5 sides, 3 triangles. 6 sides, 4 triangles. N minus 2 is total number of triangles inside a figure. N is number of sides and why we are subtracting 2? because triangles are two less than number of sides. So this expression is number of triangles. Number of triangles into 180. This is the formula for measuring sum of all angles. 
From this information, we can solve this question. What's the measure of each angle in regular hexagon? And we have a formula. N is number of sides, 6. 6 minus 2, 4. There are 4 triangles and we can see it in a figure. 4 into 180, 720 degrees. Now we know total angles are 6. And it is a regular hexagon. So all angles are equal and sides are also equal. So we have sum of all angles and if we divide by total number of angles, then we can get a measure of each angle. Let's study some facts about parallelogram. Opposite angles in parallelogram are congruent and opposite sides in parallelogram are congruent. If we know the measure of these two angles, can we figure out the value of the remaining two angles? Angles inside quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So we can create an equation to find the value of x. In every parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. This yellow line bisect red line into two equal parts and red line bisect yellow line into two equal parts. These two segments are equal and these two segments are equal. Rectangle is also parallelogram and diagonals also bisect each other in rectangle. And there is one more thing about rectangle. In rectangle, diagonals are also congruent. Diagonals have the same length. What is the length of a diagonal AB? CO is 4. OD is also 4 because diagonals bisect each other in parallelogram. And rectangle is parallelogram. If CD is 8, 4 plus 4, then AB is also 8 because it is a rectangle and diagonals are congruent. One more fact about rectangle. In every rectangle, the diagonals make two pair of isosceles triangles. In rhombus, all sides have same length. But rhombus is also a parallelogram. So we can say that diagonals in rhombus must bisect each other. Because this is a property of parallelogram, yellow segments are equal and red segments are equal. Rhombus is made up of four triangles that are congruent which we can prove it with the side, side, side postulate. From this figure, we can see that every triangle is made up of a blue side, red side and a green side. Blue sides are equal to their corresponding blue sides. Red sides are equal to their corresponding red sides and green sides are equal to their corresponding green sides. When triangles are congruent, their corresponding angles are also congruent. These four corresponding angles are also equal. And sum of all these angles must be 360 degrees because it is a complete spin. If you divide 360 into four equal parts, we get 90 degree for each angle. So at their intersection, Diagonals are making 90 degree angle. So what we have learned about rhombus? In every rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular to each other and they bisect each other to form 90 degree angle. Angle A is 30 and you have to figure out angle X. In rhombus, triangles inside are congruent. Angle A is corresponding to angle B. If A is 30, B is also 30. Now it's simple. 
we know two angles of a triangle and we have to find a third one. This angle is 90 and we have an equation to find a missing angle. Angle X is 60. This is trapezoid. A trapezoid has at least one pair of opposite side parallel. And what about angles inside trapezoid? These two are supplementary angles and these two are supplementary angles. And we can prove this. These two angles are alternate interior angles and they are congruent. And these two angles are supplementary because they are on a straight line. So Meyer of this angle is 180 minus angle A. Therefore, these two angles are also supplementary. They both add up to 180 degree. So trapezoids have pair of supplementary angles between their parallel sides. If we encounter a question where we need to figure out these angles, x1 and x2, it's very easy. We know it, this pair is supplementary and this pair is supplementary. 180 minus 70, 110. x1 is 110 and 180 minus 120, 60. x2 is 60.